Hello guys, um, Wild Ox Studios here, and today we're going to talk about an update uh, to the R Player Me character base tool uh, up on the Patreon, um, Wild Ox Studios Patreon. So uh, let's just dive right into this and then we'll break it down along the way. Um, before we start, I do want to mention that uh, you will now see this Ready Player Me Wild Ox Studios plugin. Um, basically, this is an expansion to the web browser widget class that's already in Engine. Um, so that you know, it'll automatically include that uh, dependency. Uh, and then what this does is it modularizes the code that I've used to do the callback. So you can pick this plug, you know, copy this plugin and paste it in any project that utilizes Ready Player Me's um, plugin and then our SDK, should I say? Um, so I just wanted to make this section of code more modular um, and it can be expanded to basically work with any, uh, you know, URL, URL callbacks or return uh, logic so it doesn't have to necessarily be just for them but in this case that's what it's for um, anyway with that out of the way let's go ahead and just start this up so uh, like previously um, you would come in select you know an avatar we'll just do some random guy right now And then uh, pick a clothing set, and then hit next. The difference is is the plugins web helper callback feature is now going to automatically handle loading the character. So you no longer have to copy and paste anything. That opens up, you know, the ability to use this kind of web browser expansion to the component in VR projects because you no longer have any kind of complicated interaction. It's just clicking a next, next, next button. You can put it in a widget component in an actor, call it and um, handle it with VR logic. So that's it. Um, as you can see, everything works the same as previous uh, outside of the steps necessary to get the avatar generated. So now what we'll do is kind of like break down what those changes entail. Um, the old manual load HUD elements or widget component, uh, widget components, widget actors, widgets itself, blueprint widgets, they are now in the manual load folder. So they are still available to the project for those of you who want to pass in GOB links and manually load like offsets of the Ready Player Me um, avatar system. That's still a possibility. Um, but yeah, we'll break this down. Uh, basically everything is happening in the HUD class. I like to keep project clean and make sure, you know, things are happening where you expect them to be happening. Um, so we'll look at this. Uh, the old launch URL logic is still in. Copy and paste logic is still in with the reference to the uh, widget class. Then the web loader, which is, you know, the internal widget, the old web loader can still be called manually um, just to open the browser. Um, and then we now have the Ready Player Me Web Helper plugin uh, widget that is utilizing utilizing that expansion. Um, and all it's it's basically doing the same logic that it was doing, but instead of you have in the copy and paste that binds to an uh, event that is passed back. And then that event passes the URL into the game mode interface. Um, and that game mode interface basically builds the avatar, right? So um, nothing too crazy has changed between the old version and this version. So uh, build avatar basically gets a random spawn point, spawns the character class, calls the load RPM function on the base 
RP, uh, R player me base, and then possesses. So nothing extremely crazy. Um, want to give a huge shout out to all of the Patreon supporters out there. I know a few of you have gotten rid of the UI elements altogether and are just kind of, you know, hard coding your GLBs and bypassing the, uh, the HUD that can still be done. Uh, you know, you don't necessarily have to use this. Um, and then, you know, the plugin, the helper plugin can be copied into any project using the RPM, uh, Ready Player Me SDK uh, and can be utilized in other projects as well to get around that whole loading thing. Um, but anyway, uh, happy coding, guys. Thank you to everyone that's a supporter. Have a great week.